All right, so a little status update of some things that have been going on around all of the equipment here. Um, I made some sales. I've sold almost everything that I've replaced with Home Theater 2.0 now except for one thing. So in the last uh, week or week and a half-ish, roughly, um, I sold my Marantz preamp that I upgraded or pulled out to upgrade to the Anthem AVM70. That went, I, I put it up for 650 and I, I, I severely underpriced that. Um, technically, I sold it for 70 because I ended up selling the rack ears uh, to a separate guy off of Facebook Marketplace than the, than the uh, preamp itself. So 700 total between the two things. But the HDMI output one port of my Marantz uh, hasn't been working for a long time. Black signal doesn't work, which means you can't really use it with ARC. Uh, but I did have the uh, but HDMI output 2 worked fine. So I had been using it like that. All the inputs worked. The Zone 2 HDMI output worked. It's just that HDMI, that main HDMI 1 out didn't work. And I figured that would really impact the value a good bit. And I still wanted to try to move it quickly when I got to the point of listing it. So I put it up for 650 And I had a whole bunch of people messaging me about that. I probably still could have sold that thing for a grand. But I listed it. I confirmed a sale. Nice, easy local pickup. The guy was really ecstatic to come to come get it and upgrade to that. So I went ahead and let it go. So in any case, that's gone. I shipped another pair of the Focal 906s out. That's awesome. So I'm down to one pair of the Focal 906 bookshelves. I sell that and I've done pretty well overall, happy with the prices that I got for other things for the most part, um, according to my budget and my plan for Home Theater 2.0. I sold the screen uh, specifically today. Somebody came and picked up the screen. So that went. Um, that's one thing that I had to sell for a, a good bit less than I was really hoping to get. Um, more than, more than, sold it really for more than half, or less than half of what I was really hoping to. And so lesson learned there: don't upgrade screens a lot because uh, a screen is incredibly, incredibly difficult to sell. I actually had a fair number of people contacting me to buy the screen. However, it's it's just you can't really ship it. Um, I didn't keep the boxes for it. As much as I talked about keeping the boxes for everything, screen boxes is huge. It's crazy long. And so I didn't keep the box for the frames and all the packaging for the frames. And, and shipping that thing to somebody else anyway would be a, a massive pain. And so I started at a certain price and I just kept cutting, cutting, cutting until finally I had an offer. Um, but I sold to a really cool guy. Uh, he came over from the west side of Michigan today to pick it up. So as, as a consolation to, to taking less to, to move the screen than I might have liked to, at least it's gone. It was standing up in here and in the way, but in any case, it, it, it's gone. But the, the guy came and got it. He was actually a subscriber on the channel without uh, putting two and two together that he was, he was contacting me to buy the screen. And so he came over. We actually hung out for probably two hours. We did some demos uh, in the theater there, watched some Ready Player One, showed them the Harbottle versus the Arundel, which is the main thing that I've really been tinkering with, and, and flipping back and forth between the two, and, and doing room calibrations and experimentations and learning between the different subwoofers and how they sound and how they respond and what they're capable of. So we had a really long conversation just sitting down there, a couple of, uh, couple of enthusiasts chilling out. He has some of the same other equipment that I have in here as well. So we had a lot of kind of common stuff to talk about. Hopefully we'll see them at, at some of the Michigan meetups. There's uh, an ABS forum, uh, Michigan speaker uh, meetup coming here in, a, in about a few weeks. So I'm planning to, to go to that. And so it's just cool. I commented uh, last fall-ish when I went to the, the, the ABS Michigan projector shootout. It's really cool to know some folks kind of around your area and, and talk you know face to face about this hobby. And so, um, yeah, that, that was just, that was really neat. So the screen's gone and I did ship off the Electra Towers. Man, this is going to be, I don't know where this is going to go, but it, it's painful. So I shipped two uh, pristine Focal Electra BE Towers in their original boxes. Everything nice, everything clean. Uh, worked with the buyer uh, a couple states away. We, we set up for, for freight shipping, insured, thankfully where you know the big truck pulls up to the house and I helped the guy load the speakers in. Everything was good, signed off, and the speakers that arrived uh, to my buyer looked like they fell off this truck and rolled around. The boxes were just absolutely destroyed, damage to the speakers inside. 
Um, I feel so bad about the situation, but I'm working with the, the buyer, starting up the some kind of an insurance claim, and we'll see what happens there. Um, again, so I, I really wish it's when, when I sell stuff, it's just so much nicer to sell stuff off a of Facebook marketplace to a local buyer, you know, or get connected to a local buyer some other way and have them come to your house and pick up AB gear, take all of the, um, take all of the failure modes and, and such out of the equation that they, they can come get it. They can drive away with it. They leave with it in perfect working condition and you don't have to worry about carriers and whatnot. So this freight company, they just absolutely dropped the ball and we'll see where this goes, but yeah, um, super, super huge bummer on that regard. But in any case, one more pair of Focal Aria 906s, and I've actually been talking to a couple folks about that, and everything that I had been uh, doing under the Home Theater 2.0 banner in terms of replacing stuff and taking stuff out of the configuration uh, will be gone, and, and for the most part, I'm uh, pretty happy with uh, the sales price that I got for, for the lot of it. So 